In today's video, we're taking a trip to Shondaland as I share two Bridgerton-themed cocktails, as well as two mocktails that are sure to leave the ton of buzz. So make sure to stay tuned. So the moment the new season hit Netflix, I knew that I needed to do some kind of a watch party video or a movie night special. But you guys, I had so many ideas to share with you that it felt silly to just cram them all into one video. So I'm gonna be having three Bridgerton inspired specials this year, including today's, which obviously we're gonna be doing cocktails and mocktails. And the next video is going to be my 2024 watch party idea. So last season we did a tea party. This season we are going full on girls night with a Lady Danbury's Den of Iniquity theme. And so I am so excited to share that with you guys. I have an absolutely tantalizing menu with five delicious savory treats, as well as five sinfully delicious desserts. So I'm also gonna be sharing some really fun decor ideas. Now, the video after that, I'm going to be sharing my ultimate Bridgerton party guide, where we're gonna be talking about some of the different products that are out there on the market that are Bridgerton, and break down every single like thing that you need to do to throw the event of the season. Cannot wait to share it. So I hope that you will subscribe and hit that bell down below so that you don't miss out on any of the fun. So today's video is part of a collaboration with some of my YouTube besties. And it's actually amazing because you wouldn't expect meeting people on YouTube that oh, you've only got to meet a couple in person and that you all live hundreds, if not thousands of miles away from each other would be able to grow so close. But these ladies are true and true and I absolutely adore and love them all. And so I'm so excited to be doing this collaboration with them. Basically, we just thought we'd all kind of do our own thing and share the videos so that our viewers could kind of get to know some of the people that are so dear to us. So I am going to have our playlist linked down in the description and I just hope that you have the opportunity to check them all out because these women just all shine in their own ways and I am just so blessed to be part of this little group. So for our first cocktail today, we are going to be making a Danbury Smash. So this whiskey cocktail is inspired by Lady Danbury, of course, who is just absolutely amazing. One of my favorite characters between her shrewd intuition and her wild heart. I just absolutely love her. And much like her, this drink is beautiful, but deceptively strong. So let me show you how I make it. We are going to start out by adding one sliced strawberry to our mixture, as well as half an ounce of sweetened lime juice. After that, it's time to break out the Irish whiskey because we are going to be adding one and a half ounces to two ounces. You know, just follow your heart is the way that I look at it. Then bring in a dash of elderflower liqueur, and I've always had the Saint Germain. I don't know if there's another brand. And I do want to point out that this mixture is actually made for one drink. If you're hoping to make multiple drinks out of this, you're going to want to take that into account and kind of like double or triple the recipe. Now it's time for us to add our pink edible glitter. And I love the pink tourmaline that they have at Fancy Sprinkles. Fancy Sprinkles is my go-to. Look, even Puka's excited. It just seems to add such magic and mystique to your drink. It looks like a potion. But anyways, we're gonna take this little smashy madudad and basically pulverize the strawberries working it into this mixture inside of our little cocktail shaker. I'm sure that tool has a name, guys. I don't know what it is, so we're not even going there. But. Once this is all smushed up and really combined, we are going to add a small cup of ice to this and shake it up. But first, you guys, look at how pink and glittery and perfect it looks. I am so excited. So I basically shake the shaker until I can't hold it anymore and it's too cold. I'm sure, again, there is a specific time that you're supposed to do that, but I can tell you my drinks always come out perfect for me. Um, once this is really cold, we are going to be straining it into this clear glass you see in front of me. And I always like to strain it because I feel like it can be a little funky when you have a cocktail and all of a sudden a chunk of fruit comes into your mouth. It just, you know, you don't want to chew your drink. So, and it, besides, it takes away from all the beautiful, like clear potion-y look of it. So, um, once this is strained, I am going to top it off with some Sprite and enjoy. I cannot tell you how delicious this is, you guys. Um, I hope that you try it out and don't forget to tag me on Instagram so I can see what you think. All right, it is time for our taste test. 
You're absolutely gonna love this, but the only thing that I have to warn you is, it tastes so good, you need to be careful to remember that there's liquor in there. Now let's go ahead and I'll start with my next cocktail. In case you're new here today, I wanna take a second to introduce myself. Hi, I'm Jackie, and this is My Magical Home, a place that is completely dedicated to creative homemaking. And I also have a lot of furry friends that show up to help me throughout these activities and fun. But my goal is to make the mundane magical, adding a little bit of extra fun to everything that I do. So sometimes I'm going to take you with me for party nights. Other times it's going to be getting ready for the holidays or, you know, just getting the house organized and cleaned up. But either way, me and my chaotic army are here to bring a little bit of extra fun and joy into your life. So I hope you'll hit that subscribe button down below and join my YouTube family. All right, so our second cocktail today is pretty straightforward. But I've got to be honest, the origins of it are a little bit naughty. So we're calling this one the Violet's Garden. And it is inspired by a conversation that Lady Danbury and Violet Bridgerton had in the art gallery. So Violet goes up to Lady Danbury and she's like, I miss gardening. My husband and I had the most beautiful garden and I miss it. And at first Lady Danbury is just really not getting it. And if you're also wondering what's illicit or naughty about Violet wanting to garden, well, if she was wanting to plant some hyacinths down at Aubrey Hall, that would be one story, but she's actually referring to the passionate sexual relationship between her and her husband, Edmund. And she's talking about how she misses that passion and she wishes that it would reignite in her life. So I thought, what better to depict this fun, vibrant energy for Violet than a violet-colored, color-changing tequila shot, of course, with glitter. Um, so I'm going to show you how to make this, you guys. It is so easy and it is such a showstopper, especially when you add the lime juice and you see the colors change. I think you're absolutely going to love this. And I think that this is some kind of the spice that Violet deserves. I mean, she puts so much care and thoughtfulness into her children's passionate happiness. It's time that she gets a little too. So my question is, do you guys think that Violet deserves to have some of that passion back in her life? And if so, do you think she should get married? Or do you think the hell with the gossipers? She should just have an affair on the side and have a good time and have her cake and eat it too. I wanna know, let me know in the comments down below. You might be wondering, where did I get Violet tequila? Well, I'm gonna show you, we're gonna make it and it is so easy. So I just grab a mason jar and pour all of my tequila in there. I really dig this brand, but you can use any brand you prefer. And then I'm just going to add like maybe two teaspoons of butterfly pea flour to it. And I'm just gonna put the lid on. And as you guys can see, like even moments later, the color's already starting to come in. And after a couple hours, it is a deep, dark purple. And it is absolutely fantastic and creates the most amazing special effect for your drink. You may have noticed that I used my palm to measure out my butterfly pea flour. Well, that's actually a trick I learned from my granny. She used to actually measure her stuff that way, and that's what she'd call a teaspoon, is the small amount that she could fit into this little certain amount in her hand. And when I find myself using dried goods that aren't going to make a mess, I find that for some reason I kind of kick back to that old school measuring technique. And it's time to strain out our tequila. I'm just going to strain it out into my measuring cup because it has that easy pour like little lid part and then put it back in my bottle of tequila so that we can get started on Violet's Garden. Okay, let's get started in this drink. We are going to begin by adding our salt rim, and you're gonna notice I only do it to half of the glass. I feel like it gives you options then, and you can choose if you want a salty drink or not. And I don't know, that's just how I prefer it. And you will notice that instead of putting my honey all over a plate and then kind of dipping it on and then putting on the salt, I just use a little bit of a butter knife. I find it is far less mussy, and I have a little bit more control as to how much honey is getting on my rim there. So. That is the way that I prefer to do it. Now we're going to add some edible glitter to our lime juice. That way it gives a fun effect when you go ahead and add that to our drink later on. 
Now it's time to get this party started. We are literally just going to be adding our purple tequila to our glass. And then it is time to add that sparkly lime juice. And you guys, I can't wait for you to see the effect. It is so cool. And it just makes the funnest little tequila shot. I can't wait to hear what you guys think down below. Okay, it's time for the taste test. Mm. I can see where that could reignite some passion. Don't forget to let me know if you guys decide to try this color changing tequila idea and to tag me on Instagram so I can see how it turned out for you. Every event had some kind of punch or lemonade and lemonade historically was the way to go. But there can only be one drink that's above all the rest. And that is the diamond of the season lemonade that I'm about to share with you right now. It is one that would leave even Lady Whistle down questioning what your secrets are. So make sure to stay tuned because you are going to end up with the drink that's going to be the talk of the talk. Much like our tequila drink we just showed before, now it is time for us to make a little bit of butterfly pea flower tea. And it is just as simple as that sounds. I'm just going to put some boiling water with some butterfly pea flower. I don't know the specific amount of how much to put. It doesn't take very much to add a really impactful like difference. And I think it's actually really cool because in the water, you can see that it creates a more blue effect where the tequila creates more of a violet color. You are going to let that butterfly pea flower tea, that's such a tongue twister to say out loud, tea sit for about five to 10 minutes and then you are going to bring it over and you're going to add a little bit of edible glitter to your cup as well as some lemonade and ice. And you wanna make sure to add those first because it's going to give that glittery appearance to your lemonade down at the bottom. And it's going to create a really cool layering effect when then you just kind of slowly add a little bit of butterfly pea flowers like tea on top. Now, before people drink it, they are going to want to stir it, but then it becomes like this brilliant pink color and I absolutely love this. I want to know what you think. Okay, so it's time for the taste test. And as much as I love this color changing duo, I'm going to go ahead and give it a quick stir here so I can get all those flavors together. Isn't that such a beautiful pink purple color? So let's give it a try. Miss Calliope and I think that you are absolutely going to love this diamond of the season lemonade. Be sure to check it out. Last drink today we are going to be making a Queen Charlotte chiller. Now, as you know, the queen accepts nothing but perfection, and this drink is no less. From its calming lavender to the sweet vanilla flavors, this drink is perfect for an evening out on the tom. And it even sparkles. So I hope that you guys really enjoy this. Let me show you how we make it. Luckily, the Queen Charlotte Chiller is just as easy to make as it is delicious. You are just going to start out by adding one and a half tablespoons of vanilla syrup, half a tablespoon of lavender syrup, and about half a teaspoon of coconut cream to your drink. I suggest adding a little bit of purple glitter, but as you guys know, I have a glitter problem. <laughs> And um, you can see that I put this into my cocktail shaker because I was only making one drink, it was really useless. Um, and I should have just put it into my glass. But if you're making multiple of this drink, you can definitely throw it into your shaker and it will probably shake in that coconut cream a little bit easier. But once I had that, I threw some ice into my cup, added my mixture and topped it off with sparkling water and some whipped cream on top. And you guys, I am in love with this drink. I cannot wait for you guys to try this. Absolutely amazing. I know that this is going to be a new household staple because I love it that much. And I can't wait to hear your guys' opinions. So don't forget to say hi down below.
So this is the end of our drinks today. Um, but if you guys would like to hang around for a couple more seconds, I'm going to show you kind of a close up of all of my different friends so that I can show you how absolutely amazing they are before you head to the playlist. I really wanted to give you a brief description of what all of these ladies do on their channels and a little bit about them. But every time I start to do so, I find that I'm taking just ages and ages to do so and I start prattling on. So I'm just going to show you a quick overview, like a picture of them, their name and what their channel is. And I hope that you'll hit that playlist down below and go check them out and get to know them for yourselves. I love and adore these women and they are people that I cherish and hope to have in my life for years to come. And yeah, I can't suggest them enough. This is where I'm going to close out today's video, guys, after the little slides. And I just want to let you know that I think you are magnificent. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And I hope that you have the most magical day.